Welcome to Oil Field Inside TV. Today's topic is discovery of oil and gas. Organic waste are composed of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. The majority resulting from the death of the living creatures, animal or vegetable are generally destroyed and digested by bacteria, but certain are deposited on the beds of the enclosed seas, lagoons, lakes, deltas or other aquatic environment. Poor in oxygen, they are therefore protected from bacterial action. There, the organic matter mixes with sediment, sand, clay, salt and accumulates a successive layer of the millions of years. The most ancient layers are buried under the more recent. These layers are pushed down by their own mass. The phenomenon of plate tectonics disturbing the earth mantle breaks them up and takes them deeper into the earth crust. The further the sedimentary layers subside, the more the temperature and pressure increase. Chemical reactions the nitrogen atoms and the remains of oxygen. They leave only molecules formed from carbon and hydrogen, which constitute the living liquid and gaseous hydrocarbon. These hydrocarbons are to be found at the heart of the rock, called the source rock. The hydrocarbons move around below ground because being lighter than water, they tend to make their way towards the surface of the earth. If nothing stops them, they will escape and lose out onto the surface or solidify the individual, losing their volatile constituents. But if during the course of their migration, the hydrocarbon meet an intamable layer which is called a seal or a crap top, they are trapped below in the microscopic interstices and cracks of the rock called the reservoir rock. In this reservoir rock, the gaseous part of the hydrocarbon rises slowly above the oil, pushing the water below several tens of millions of years. Will a geologist suspect the existence of this trap and consequently discover an oil or gas field? Thanks for watching.